Hello. Hi. I'm Isabel. And I'm Hannah. And this is Fiber Content Knitting Podcast. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, we're two Brooklyn-based knitters on this extremely rainy afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is like tsunami coming down in sheets. And so if there's thunder... Yeah, so it that. it's, it's delicious. <laughs> but it's ideal knitting and being cozy weather. Um, yeah. It's like the beginning of April here. Um, and for those who don't you know, know us, uh, Isabel and I have been knitting together for three plus years now. Um, yeah, we met through Knitting Instagram and have been friends ever since. Yay! Yay. Um, we tend to do like a kind of pretty typical knitting podcast um, with some life stuff thrown in. Um, and always love to hear from you. So yeah, don't be a stranger. Awesome. Should we start with FOs? Yeah, let's start with FOs. Or I can start with what I'm wearing if that's not too Which bold. is your FO. Which is my, my and, soul And FO. it's incredible. Um, this is my Jacon sweater, um, which I <laughs> have from La Style Knitting, um, which I have been obsessed with. It is um, Knit and Earl Grey Fiber Company in their gunpowder sock base, um, which is a yak merino silk base. Um, Ooh, I didn't realize it had yak. Yeah, this is my first time knitting with it. So oh, it's nice. I was quite, um, let me do like a little just show and tell so you can get the, the fit of the sweater and then I'll talk about kind of the yarns and the modifications um, I used. So the, the sweater is, as you can see, like a puff sleeve and also um, a relaxed fit in the body. There's a lot of positive ease. Um, and it has this beautiful saddle shoulder and this like really cool kind of exaggerated puff sleeve detail. Um, it is knit with an additional detail around the collar and, um, the wrist cuffs, but I omitted that cause I thought it, I didn't, I didn't really fancy it. Um, but I just really loved this fit. I've been looking a lot for kind of like a puff sleeve sweater, especially to pair with this yarn which felt kind of like, I don't know, this yarn feels a little, not masculine, but harsh. It's, it's, it's the name of the yarn is drab. Like it's just a dark green, almost, That's almost cute. blacky green. Yeah. And I wanted to kind of like balance it out with a girl it up. Exactly. With like girl it up, like put, make it like a more, like a more feminine fit to pair with this yarn. Um, and I was nervous about using this yarn and holding it single. It, it's so soft. And I feel like the color is so stunning that I didn't mm. want to dull it down. I didn't want to like wash it out by holding it double or anything. Um, and I love the weight of a fingering weight sweater, but I was nervous it would pill because I've knit a lot of like MCN, which is like Merino cashmere nylon blends recently held them single and um, they've really pilled. And yeah. that's been a total bummer, honestly. So it's kind of really turned me off from that blend of yarn, but this Yak Merino, silk has has held up beautifully that's amazing um, i wonder if it's the yak or the silk i feel like silk like helps yeah i feel like silk also um and you can see there's like really pretty drape um and i've just been really really happy with it yeah she's a new to me designer i don't know a ton of her other stuff but i really just did like a deep dive on ravelry to see um what was out there when it came to to like a puff sleeve fingering weight sweater um other modifications are that i added I went back and picked up for um, for the collar, for the neckline. And the reason I did that was because you remember at Knit Night, like I was trying to do, like I just, like the modified cast on, or what's it called? Like a uh, invisible, like, okay. <laughs> I don't know, but I was like in the corner driving myself <laughs> crazy. So and I was like, this is... And we were all like... <laughs> like don't do it to yourself it was like dark at night like oh. i was like a few glasses of wine in and i was trying to do like i don't even know what it's called but um like a like a provisional uh, cast on? yeah uh no because you're not coming no, back not to pick hard. it up like uh just like a ribbed cat like an invisible ribbed cast on i don't know what that's like a stretchy cast tubular bind on cast on is that a thing a tubular, yeah, essentially a, a tubular cast on. That I, is what you were trying to do. Yeah, that I is what, what I was trying to do. And I was trying to do it. And like, I'm sure the instructions in the pattern are great. Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong. It was just not, not working for me. So I did it. Um, so I just knit from like basically the stock and it down, went back later, picked up 
and did a one by one rib in great. on a size like one or two. I guess did the size two. Lightning? Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> did you guys see that lightning? Okay, I'm sorry. Wow. No, that was <gasps> thunder. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's so crazy here. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, so then I went back and picked it up, and I love like a, like a tubular bind off. I, I've said this three thousand times, but I always do the Shibui knits tubular bind off. Um, Shibu Shibui, I guess, has gone under, but their 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 <laughs> Italian sewn bind off lives on really yeah, fully. Um, and I've worn this like five times already. I finished it like a week and a half ago. It fits me perfectly. It's exactly what I wanted. I feel like it serves the purpose of just like an uber elegant um, sweatshirt. I wear it to work. Yeah, I That's honestly amazing. like couldn't have used more about this. I'm truly delighted. Yeah. Yay! I think it's so gorgeous, and it is. It is kind of like masculine meets girly. Yeah. Like almost like army vi like army chic, except that we do not condone war. <laughs> no, like, exactly. But like kind of. Yeah, I like muscle, muscle frill. I I, I think one hundred percent. It it yeah. kind of feels like like an like an exaggerated, um, like shoulder pad, right? Like kind of like yeah. that like seventies coming is out shoulder pad. Yeah, like it does have like a little uh, like a, a dumbed down, seventies um, look. And that yarn is in like amazing condition. I guess if 80s. you've worn it a bunch yeah. of times. Yeah, I've worn this a lot. There's like a very so I did Minimal. end up. Um, I didn't end up, uh, alternating skeins, mm. um, which I post about, but I do M to the thirds tutorial whom I love. Um, and it's like super easy to do, but then I didn't do it on the sleeves cause I honestly really didn't think it was necessary. I saw no difference. Um, because I, there's probably a way to do it when you're knitting flat, but basically in the beginning, you're not always knitting around and around. So, so basically for the body, I alternated skeins, and then for the sleeves, I was just like, I don't need to do this. Yeah. Um, it looks fine. It does look fine. It's yeah. really, uh, the color, it's definitely a little bit variegated, but it's pretty consistent. Yeah. It's beautiful. And I don't know if that yarn company is still afloat. Yeah. I don't know if anyone else has knit from them. They were at Rhinebeck. I bought this at Rhinebeck in 2022. Um, and I know this base is definitely discontinued because when I went to go like log it into Ravelry, it was like discontinued or something. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not sure about the yarn company itself, which is a bit of a shame because I definitely recommend it. Super nice and you can't have it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amazing. Um, you show me what you have, but I haven't seen it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay. It's not really an FO, but it is. So oh my this God. is the um, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> this is the fucking chambray, okay, by Atelier Amelie, and it's supposed to have a collar. Okay. And as you can see, it's not working. So, okay. um, you're as well or no? How I, are we doing, like emotionally? I really this? okay. Okay. I, 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 how am I doing? Okay. How am I doing? <laughs> it does look like you could wear it over what you're wearing right now. No, and it's it would look great. So cute. The fit is perfect. Okay. okay here are my questions. Okay. So. The original pattern has like a, a like crochet like boopy thing, um, like a peacoat. Like edge. a peacoat edge. Okay, I'm just trying. That's that. what it's called. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're trying to be professional. Um, it's a peacoat edge. I didn't like it because it was a little like drama. So um, and go ahead. Now, do you feel like the peacoat edge was to make sure that it lies? Flat? I mean, a hundred percent. But yeah. there's different options. Okay. So then I just did a normal bind off to just see. This is not that. I blocked it. It didn't work. Because it was oh no lies I did a crochet yeah did it, because Victoria. I made yeah my, I made I asked my girlfriend to do it for me okay great looked stunning but it was too tight and so it like pulled it when I blocked I it, it. Yeah. so it was like Bleh. but so then I frogged that and I did a that's also so much work to like frog I guess it's mm. not it just pulls off okay yeah because I had already cast off and then you added the the crochet, crochet edge, yeah yeah. So then I did... Still, though, that's, like, edge number two. I would be... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So then I was, like, my friend Lauren suggested doing a shawl bind-off, which I guess is, like, instead of knit two, pull one over, purl two, pull one over. Yeah. So it, like, goes the other way. Okay. And that's to stop shawl edges that are stock and hat from curling is, like, how it's typically used. And I did that, and I have not locked it again. So how, So what did you do... 
Did you have to pick, like, did you have to undo the original bind off to do the no. shawl? Oh, yeah, 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 I did. Oh my god, that's like a lot of, yeah, knitting and It is indeed. And so, I, I, and, and like, I don't really know if it's gonna be fine. Like, it's very stretchy. I mean, not very, but it's like stretchy enough, but I can't decide. So, I, I need to like block the collar at least again to like see yeah. if it'll lie flat. But then on my way over here, I was like, I just want to freaking wear it. And like, I kept putting it on yeah, and being it like, today. it's fine. It works. And then being like, no, it like really doesn't. Or like folding it yeah. and it like works as a V-neck maybe. Um, but then your roommate was like, no, it's so cute. Like, don't get rid of the collar. And I was like, Aww. oh, you're right. Yeah. So I don't really know. <laughs> I think I just need to like woman up and block it again. But I'm like, so. Do you have a steamer? No, do you? Yeah, we should just steam the hell out of this. And that, dear viewer, is what we did. Amazing. <laughs> I really know. <laughs> that was so... You look stunning. Are you sure? I don't... How do I feel about it? Okay, first of all, hand <laughs> a G's. Is it curling up in the back? It is. A little bit. Okay. Maybe it's So fine. what are we going to do? We'll think more about it, but for now, it's a stunning fix. Um, I can't believe you. The I color you. is awesome on you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Okay, that was exciting. That was fun. Yeah. Hannah just did all of the work and is a hero. Um, okay, so I guess I should tell you about it. Yeah, talk to us about that sweater. Um, okay. I already mentioned the designer who we love. Hannah was like, I just am like rooting for her. And it's true. I feel like want good things for her. Um, Atelier Amelie. That's Atelier name, Amelie. So. She's yes. a French designer. Both of ours are French designers. Huh. Atelier Amelie. Amelie, I think, was involved with um, Lobby and MA. I think she's associated with them. I don't know cool. exactly what's going on there. Also, did you see the Lobby and MA pop up? Yeah. It looked so cute. Yeah. Oh with, my God. Um, wandering flock. Stunning. So I just, what I would give to be in Paris with those ladies. I mean, <laughs> please. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Okay, so now that it's laying flat, I'm like, is it better if I just rib it? No. What do you mean? Like, Sorry. did a ribbed v neck instead of a collar? Oh. The collar is so cute right now. I think the collar is like literally a okay, 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 okay. Um, okay, okay. I, I think it's also, well, you talk about it and then I'll go off on it. Okay. It's knit in wool and folk snow with a navy and white marl that I got at the Cornwall yarn shop for crazy discount because it was on um, clearance. And everything, all the edges are um, Italian bind off and it's so stupid soft it's just 100 percent merino it did like fluff up a little bit when i was using it but no mm -hmm. pilling as of yet although i haven't really worn it um the fit is incredible i do feel like i like don't i do feel like i could stand to knit like another like inch or two on mm -hmm. the bottom um but like I don't want to. <laughs> I, yeah. I have a lot of yarn left over, so I don't know. And I wanted the sleeves to be tapered, and so I did decrease them. The pattern doesn't call for any decreases, but oh, interesting. What does the pattern want you to do? Like a bullion sleeve? Yeah. Okay. Um, so kind of decrease at the end rapidly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. I didn't do that. I decreased throughout, but it's still pretty open, which I actually feel great about. Um, if I. Do you agree? I feel like I it's think it's cute. amazing. I mean, I think you look like a sexy sailor. Like I'm obsessed. <laughs> Thank you. I think like I don't. Know, you look like um, like Popeye. What's her, what, Popeye what's with her? tits? Like. <laughs> no. What is Popeye's girlfriend's name? Like uh -oh. Olive. I don't know. Olive juice or something. Olive juice. That's be is that because like when you mouth "I love you" and olive juice, it looks the same. I had a yarn color. It's not her. Her name is not that. But I had a yarn Whatever. color that was called olive juice because of that, which was... Olive oil. Her name is olive oil. Okay, sorry. Everyone's probably screaming that. I'm sorry. That's... <laughs> okay. Okay, well, just really quick shout out. Yes. That was Emily from um, Wool and Palette, who's an... Um, her idea. She's an incredible natural dyer, and you should follow her. That's all. Okay, she was dying with olive juice. No, I had a... <laughs> I was obviously not listening to you <laughs> and thinking oh, so hard about all, what Olive Oil's name was. Um, that's okay. a terrible... It's a rough name. Bizarro. I did, I did knit with a yarn called Olive Oil <laughs> once, but the yarn I'm talking about is called Olive Juice, <laughs> and I named it with like per Emily's suggestion because oh, I, had, okay, I, I used to dye yarn, okay? And I had natural dye, and I had a yarn uh, collection for Valentine's Day called... Um, dating in New York oh, and the cute. colors were um, love bomb 
uh, Bashir, which is Yiddish for like soulmate or destiny, mm. and olive juice because when you say I love you on the olive juice, it looks the oh, same. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. Um, anyways, sexy sailor, I guess. Yeah, I like, I'm like, do I want it to be longer? So, so it's we like were saying thrill. like, maybe like you thrill. do like, okay, well, I'm kind of like, girly. maybe you go crazy, design it, like design it with decreases this way. Like, oh, like we a, use some like German short rows and give you like a Ghani collar and then do a little, yeah, I don't cause I want it to be yeah. more, I don't, I didn't like the Pico edge. Well, cause it was too So girly. this is a sailor collar. This feels like to me like a sailor collar. Yeah. It's like light. It's but like you could do like a, you could thin. do like a long thin Ghani collar or something. Um, I'm like, I want to see with my hair down, but I'm not having a good hair day. No. But amazing. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause now I kind of like it. Oh, now I'm like, great. You look so good. Like, I also I'm love. Boopity boop. I kind of feel like both of ours like are kind of like re pretty feminine designs with this like with these very like neutral and kind of darker colors. Um, yeah. Which I love. I love this like newsprint. Um, yeah. Snow it's, yarn. I'm not usually like a moral person. It's awesome. But I feel. Yeah, we do kind of have a vibe. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I like it. I think I just was having, I'm having a weird hair day. It's the rain, okay? The rain is crazy, yeah. Um, wait, I'm happy that you got it to lie flat. Yeah, it, lo it looks beautiful. And you promised the back is like fine? Yeah, the back is fine for now. Um, I don't know. Maybe I could sew it down. Is that stupid? Like a one little tack or something? Yeah. I think it's fine. Um, I mean, I think that an eye cord edge would be awesome. Yeah, um, and that would help a lot. Okay. Yay. Um So speaking of marl, <laughs> should I talk about my marl whip? Yeah. Okay. You haven't seen this one yet. Is this the one for the baby? Oh yeah. I guess you have seen this one yet. Uh -huh. Okay. So I have an amazing baby that has been brought into Stop. my life. Um, so this is going to be Thanks for too. my cousin who taught me how to knit. Baby. Hannah. Um, I know. Cute, right? Um, and I'll show you the pattern I'm using. This is, it's just going to be a little baby vest. I'm marling, um, a cream and a black held together. So kind of achieves similar effect as your wool folk yarn. Um, I've been loving it. I mean, it's just so basic. I'm using, yeah, I'm using like easy superwash merino scraps. This is actually a bamboo yarn. This like is a like tensile nice. Vest. Yeah. It's like, um, and I like that this marl is like. There's like little black bits and little white. Bits. Stunning, yeah. I mean, okay, so I love Knitting Traditions podcast, one of my favorites. Her baby is like clad, of course, in like all these <laughs> like, like rustic fibers. Amount. Like looks, I'm sure, the best dressed baby in all of Norway. <laughs> um, for my lovely, you know, cousin who is a knitter, but I'm sure doesn't want to be spending her time hand washing knits. It's super wash. I also had the scraps. It just worked out. Yeah. The pattern it's I'm for using, babies. I just wanted to show this book because if there's like, if it's on eBay, I love this book. I return to it again and again. It's called More Knitted Gifts, um, More Last Minute Knitted Gifts. It's by Joelle Hoverson, who's like the owner or founder of um, Pearl Soho. And the pattern I'm doing here is, please pause. Wait, everything is so cute. I for some reason everything is so timeless is just this little vest pattern so i'm going to i'm actually not going to do an xo i'm going to do a little heart just in case Aww. my cousin has another girl. i don't know just so you know i didn't want to um i didn't want to put an initial so yeah That's i don't funny. know i just wanted to like show this book because i love it like i think that there's so many it's like really creative ways to use your yarn. Like this is a 3D basket. Wait, I love um, I just sometimes, okay, not to get too personal, but I often like, I try to journal before bed, but like sometimes if I'm like not feeling journaling, I literally just like flip through knitting books or old pom-pom magazines just to get like kind of a beautiful burst of like color and inspiration before bed and and you know clear my That's mind so cute. it's a little absurd but this is one that I keep like next to my bed and <coughs> and return to again and again um so I've knit this baby bonnet like it's beautiful so many times I've I've shown it on the podcast if you're if you've watched for a long, I, I knit these socks all the time um and and she's one of those designers that has like you go to the sock pattern it's called b 
baby socks. Okay, that's not really that helpful, but <laughs> you go to the sock pattern, it has like, you know, a million and one entries because like before digital patterns, people were really knitting from this book. It's beautiful. Um, it's a baby bonnet. Can I show the back? Yeah, I mean, these are all the patterns. It's a little, there's some wear and tear. It's been loved, but it's great. there's like a blanket that, you know, to this day, I just find like all of them tight, like, this sweater, I always am like, maybe I'll just knit this sweater. It, it comes in all, it come, goes into the doll. Um, yeah, it's not super size inclusive. It goes up to a Cute. men's, a women's 2XL. Um, but I just always thought like that would be a great beach sweater, you know? And like super easy. It just, I don't know. I find, like, I don't. This, it's like a comforting knit. This was, yeah, this was, this was, I've, I've used her inspiration. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to steal so much time to talk about this book mm -hmm. but i use like this as um gift wrapping inspiration whenever i i do Wait, that's so cute yeah whenever i like even now if i if i knit something i try to wrap it with like Aww. this i've always thought about knitting this cardigan because i'm always looking for like fingering weight sweaters because i love it um and i've always thought about doing this like this really lightweight cardigan um okay that's enough but yeah no i love it love this book what color are you going to do the heart in? Red, I think. That's very um, cute. I have some leftover. This is, I love this yarn. This is Neighborhood Fiber Company um, Studio Sock that I've knit two garments in. Um, Amazing. And so I have a little bit of red leftover from a hat I made ages ago. So it's, it's like it's like a bright um, tomato red. So I use that. Yeah. Yay. Hey. Um, all right. My first whip. Okay, actually, I have one more FO, but it's a sewing FO, but it's it's important. Mm. <laughs> I knit, I sewed um, three project bags, and I've been kind of on my project bag, like, game, because I keep wanting to buy them, and they're so expensive, like, yeah. so expensive. Um, and I did buy this one from Petite Knit. Oh, it's stunning. <laughs> but it's like one of the cheap ones because it's not like quilted or anything. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, I could absolutely make this. It's like super simple. Mm. And so I was like, I've been sick for a while. It's like my leftover cough, you can hear. Mm -hmm. um, just chronic illness things. <laughs> but um, yeah. I was like sad and sick. And so I was just like, I have all these fabric scraps and I'm gonna just like fuck around. Um, nice. So I made, where are they? Oh, okay. So I made this one, which is just like Ooh, a Ooh, what a pretty. Linen. What's that from? Did you sew anything? This I think is leftover Merchant and Mills Ooh. linen <laughs> that I made a dress for my baby cousin in a few years ago. Mm. This, which I'll show you because I used it as the base of another bag. It's from a dress from H&M that didn't fit, but that, or like it fit, but I didn't like the fit, but yeah. that I loved the fabric for. That's awesome. Um, this is that fabric. That is such a pretty fabric. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. With like some chartreuse linen scraps that Victoria, my partner, got me for, um, in my stocking this year, just like a scrap bag of linen. Amazing. Bits. And I think it's so cute. Wait, how cool that you're doing this, Isabel. I didn't even know you were doing that. Thank you. And it's on a sewing machine, right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then this, I thought was so cutie. It's like mm. two colors of linen from this grab bag. Um, Adorable. And I can't even. So. Wait, that's such a cute one. I, thank you. It's like my favorite, but it's. I feel like it's like... Wait, I want to show us what's in there. Oh, uh, okay. Well, um, so this I wasn't actually even going to show today because it's this red sock that I started. Uh, it's the toe up socks. sock from Pearl Soho. Mm. And I freaking love it. The yarn is from Newberg Yarn Co. that I got at Woolen Folk this year. R.I.P. <laughs> um, it's an amazing sock base. It's just an MCN, but it's their new one, and it's quite soft um, and quite beautiful. But yeah, yeah there, there's little cables. There, it's it? ribbing with cables in between. It's interesting. She has you do um, <clears throat> a provisional cast on. Uh, this is a provisional cast on. A provisional cast on versus I've done like um, yeah. Like a magic cast on, I can't remember, but it's like Judy's magic cast on, I think yeah, is what it's called. I don't know why it's, I mean, I, so I can kitchen her right at the end, I guess. Yeah, but um, that's just funky. I mean, you it can is do funky. that right away. But I'm excited, but it's just sort of been on the back burner because there's been so much. I'm a mini whips person. Nice. Um, okay, Adorable. so that's a whip and three little baby FOs. 
That's awesome. Um, do you want to share another whip? Sure. Um, I can share what's been taking up the vast majority of my time. Um, this is a whip you may have seen if you've been watching for a long time. It's the Dappled Lace Raglan by James and Watts. Um, I, what? You're sad about it, but it's, I mean, it's glorious. It's beautiful. I've tried it on. It looks like amazing. Um, I am knitting it in one strand of Whole Scarn Coast, which is their linen, um, I'm sorry, their cotton wool blend. Um, it is... On what size needles? <laughs> it's on actually a size four, which doesn't <coughs> feel oh, that really? crazy. It, it just, I mean, this yarn is a lace weight yarn. Um, oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. It looks really pretty. I've done one sleeve. I need to do, um, the sewn bind off. I didn't have, um, a, uh, needle with me, but a tapestry needle with me when I was, um, finishing this on the train. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm feeling it fits well. Like I hate it. <laughs> I hate knitting on this. <laughs> I, this was my second time doing lace and my first time doing lace was the love note which, which like, is a pleasure which is a pleasure and which like there is a reason like five million and one people have knit that because it's such fun easy lace yeah this is all over lace work on um yeah really tiny yarn um i am making it long sleeve and making up those modifications as like go which feels like a labor um i really like it on it doesn't feel like the most wearable thing in the world. So I feel like maybe that's why I don't have as much urgency to finish it. Um, but I will be happy when I finish it. So I want to throw a party for um, the Brooklyn Yarn Crawl. There was like, last year was so much fun. You didn't come, but a few of our friends like um, Cleo's, and the, Cleo's, which is our local yarn store in Bushwick and the Wandering Flock, which is an indie dyer, did like a combo Brooklyn yarn crawl it was so much fun you would go to like her dyeing studio and then Cleo's yarn shop and sit in it and then we all went to a bar afterwards and like got drinks in it <laughs> and I was there and I, I think I told the story last year but I was like they started turning down the lights and I I, I told the bartender I was like you have a bar filled with like 50 knitters <laughs> keep the lights on like I was just like yeah, this is clearly your first time at the rodeo like um but we had so much fun and so this year I kind of want to like like play on that and do like a like Brooklyn Yarn Crawl, like after hours or something, like party, I don't know, with just like our knitting group and like make it like kind of like a fun, saucy um, cocktails, mocktails vibe. Um, and part of me is like, finish this for that. And like also, it. yeah, also have it as like a celebration for like finishing this thing that you've been working on since I started July 4th weekend. Yeah, um, that's cute. Yeah, I thought that'd be fun. It takes so much mental energy. You know, I find myself like loving that I can knit while I do other stuff and just right now like I don't think this will always be the case but I'm like knitting while doing other stuff and I would love to be like to not be doing that as much necessarily but so so this has been hard because it's like okay are you awake enough to be knitting mm -hmm. on this lace are you is the light bright enough to be knitting on this fingering weight yeah. or sorry this lace weight um lace and the yarn is not like luxury, you know, it's, it's quite the opposite. It does, it feels, it certainly feels fine. Um, but anyway, yeah. so I, and her bind off broke. My bind off broke. <laughs> um, I don't, I have to redo my bind off. Um, Isn't that mean? Yeah. Which is a bit of a bummer. So anyway, this is, um, I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm just sharing this, but let me know. You know, I feel like there's kind of this like tension between like, I don't feel the need to finish, like, finish something just because I started it. And yet, this is still, and yet I still like, and I and I do like the fact that it's, like, challenging me in these ways. Um, and I've come so far now that it feels funny to, like, stop. But, I don't know, let me know, like, kind of your thoughts, I guess, if you've done something like this, if you've had to really power through a project that feels like not super fun. Um, I have, I'll share towards the end, like 
the next projects that I'm thinking about that I'm really excited that I think will be like a total joy in it. Um, but I don't know, just wanted to be real. Like that's kind of where I am now <laughs> with I this mean, sweater. I do feel like you'll wear it a lot actually. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I have this like image of me at the beach with white jeans and like a, a, a white uh, tank top underneath this and I'll like take that picture and that will happen. Um, this was, you know, this is also maybe a funny lesson. This is the one time there's this, okay, stay with me. There's like an Uruguayan, if you go to farmer's markets enough <laughs> in New York City, there's like an Uruguayan wool producer that sells sweaters and everything all over. Have you seen this person? No. Okay. And they sell like beautiful, like Uruguayan, like wool sweaters. And they have this all over lace sweater that looks like eerily like this this design I, I, like there's no relation there it just and I've always loved that lace sweater I've always been like you can't get it because like you can knit something just like it and so this was almost like maybe maybe that's why right like they're like I tried to emulate something versus mm. really thinking about like what I wanted I don't know that's all to say that I will finish this I'm working on it it will be stunning um but it is not my it's not my happiest knit yeah um, everybody, thoughts and prayers for Hannah. <laughs> um, yeah. Ugh, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Um, are you done? No. Okay, good. Go, you, <laughs> you go and make like, a moment. We were sitting we in not it. Have to, we we were, not have I was to witnessing it. your okay. Um, okay. I don't well, know. I guess, like, knitting is not all, like, oh, it's perfect yarn and perfect pattern and, like, yeah. you know, I don't know. Sometimes. And there's ebbs and flows. And yeah. Whatever. It doesn't have to be deep. Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, so since our last episode, I cast on, uh, what the heck is it called? It's a, it's a cable it. neck V-neck. Okay. Sorry. A cable oh, the neck by Sorry Nordland. I think that she did for like wool folk. But it's not the, um, it's not the it's best. It's old. No. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is her. <laughs> and it's, um, knit with Camellia Fiber Company um, mm. in the color in in Surrey held with their silk in Surrey alpaca in the colorway um, Winterberry mm. which is no longer available um, held with um, Sylvan in the color New York which is their mm. cashmere silk uh, I don't know what else maybe alpaca this should be illegal it's so stunning Thank you. Oh my gosh. Um, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I splurged on this at Vogue Knitting Live. And that was their exclusive Vogue Knitting Live color, right? Yeah. And it's the blue with just like tiny little flax. Yeah, of like pink and white because it's like winter berries. How cutie. Uh, um, this is... I know I say this frequently, maybe my favorite thing you've like ever worked on. Like this is so it's I wanna really... know sorry, can I like look up what that pattern yeah, is? Yeah, in my um Ravelry. Yeah. Okay, let me pull up your Ravelry. Um I love it. I haven't knit on it in like I knit the, these two pieces like real fast. Mm -hmm. And now I'm working on the back, which is like more than double the length of each one. And then I just like haven't knit on it in like three weeks. <laughs> um but like fully did these two pieces in like a week and a half. It was just like, mm. um, and it's really such a pleasure to knit with this yarn, but I got sick. Um, and so I cast on something a little bit more chill. Um, cause yeah, after I finished this, I, I finished a sweater in January. I finished this in February other than the like tweaks. Um, and then in March I kind of, I have like eight whips. And I kind of would do like a row here, a row there. And I was like situating myself. Um, and I really loved this. And now I'm sort of like taking a sec, but really I want to like, I don't know, each stitch of this sweater that I'm wearing was like such a pleasure. Um, and I, so is this. And I just kind of want to like wait. I don't know. I'm like, it's too good. Like, I can't do it all at once. It's also, I mean, does it feel too warm to work on in the spring? No. No. Okay. No, I just, I don't know what happened. I'll come back. I love it. Um, should I find it? Yeah, maybe. Sorry. I can't remember what your username is. 
Oh, I think it's like Isabel Alex. Yeah, you you Love find it. it. Um, and I'll just. <laughs> and it's a vest, or it's gonna be a sweater. It's gonna be a sweater. Nice. Oh, I named it "Coming Up for Air" on Ravelry. Ooh, do you want to talk <laughs> so about that's that? That's how I felt. <laughs> felt like I was coming up for air. It's the oh, same I want, line. I want to find my coming up for air. Yeah. I really need to find my coming up for air. It looks good on you. Okay. It's the Samling sweater. How much are you dying to get your colors done? Okay. I'm freaking out. So if you follow <laughs> Wait, Goddess. I can't, I can't stop coughing. I hate it. No. I've been thinking about that so much. So We haven't talked about this. Jackie Rose, goddess that she is, has been like really, really involved <clears throat> with like Melissa Jenkins doing like color theory. Yeah. I think about it every day. I'm like, so imagine if I, like imagine the boxes that would open for me in my life. Like, I feel like my quality of life like improved by it. It's right? It's a little crazy. It I would love to do it, but you only do it once. And I feel yeah. like if... Um, <laughs> it's just like so that looks good on you because I'm like I would never think to wear yeah. this color and I'm like is this my color it looks really good you know I've been wearing I have this like oversized kind of like men's just large like chambray work shirt and I I think the color is like stunning on me okay yeah I love but anyway that could be cre I just feel so color theory I've never been great at um my roommate's an artist yeah. which you might be able to see so i feel like she could kind of help me with that um her yeah. work is incredible can but. we just like do the ai one <laughs> probably the least isabel thing i've ever said i don't i i refuse to use ai this far. um but yeah yeah we can do that and then when we <laughs> sorry <laughs> do you remember when we... i love whichever fan said this to us and hello but she was so real and she was like she had just come from um, the Lamb and Kid booth, and she's like, "Oh my god, like um, Farmer content! I love you guys!" And I'm like, and she was wearing this amazing like Lamb and Kid sweater, and I was like, "That sweater is amazing! Like that yarn, how luxurious!" And do you remember her what her line was? She's like, "Yeah, I do. I'm at a different point in life than you, ladies." And I was like, "Yeah, that's fair. Like, <laughs> so we can do the AI one. She's at social work school. <laughs> I do city policy and everything. Like." Yes. Um, when we're in a different stage When in we're life. at a different point in life and we are covered in Lamb and Kid and <sighs> are getting our colors done. Well, because then when we're going to invest in the Lamb and Kid, we need to know what fucking color. Oh my God, 100%. That's such a good point. That being said, we're liars because wool folk, camellia yeah, fiber company. We, yeah, we, that's sure. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's bougie already. Yeah, so this maybe, is a weird swan song you're in. Maybe we shell out. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, great. Okay, I have one other whip, which is essentially done, um, but, and I, I, and I actually have to finish it tonight. 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 So, this is by Witter Designs. I have a love-hate relationship with the design. Um, okay, so the, the reason this is such a tangled mess is because, um, <laughs> I wanted to try it on before, like, finishing the, um, this is called, let me just show this, um. <laughs> It's called the Nordisk Summer Nor Nordic Nordic. Yeah, I guess you're right. And it is not right. Okay. Can you hear me? This um, is a very human episode. Yeah, this is a yeah. We're getting real. Okay, so this is the Nordic Summer Top. Um, it's really just like a basic tank top. I have knit this design now. I think three times. Um, yeah, I have. It is one of my best friend's birthdays. She has wanted something hand knit. She went on my Ravelry page, said I liked that. I said, so be it. And it's the world's <laughs> easiest Wait, um, nice. design to knit. And I love her so much. And I'm going to visit her tomorrow. Um, so I'll be headed to Michigan tomorrow um, to go visit my college best friends. So one of them had her birthday uh, uh, late, late March. And so I'll be finishing this top for her like I said it's it's all done except for I just want to see how long I want to try it on properly and see how long I should do um the straps for but um yeah I I guess the reason I feel love hate about it is because it's I feel like it's very simple and it and it serves its purpose and still it's not size inclusive and it has like a really kind of pathetic um <laughs> discretion like discretionary thing where it's like this is not size inclusive for like this you know reason um so i should probably message the designer would probably be the right thing to do and say hey have you looked into this um also because it's the world's simplest design so i can't yeah. imagine like creating up this up there's no body shaping um yeah but the yarn i'm using i'm kind of excited about so 
I, cute. yeah, I wanted to find something that would be like super easy for her to take care of. Um, because I, I don't think she's, you know, very familiar with like washing knits or anything. It's a summer knit, you know, like also, so you're wearing yeah. it like next to skin. You're not wearing it with anything underneath. Um, so this is, this was at Cleo's. Wait, just the label. It's kind of oh, cute. Oh, sure. Um, it's Haiku who actually does, I only know Haiku, coincidentally enough, from this sock base that I like that's like a bamboo. So this yarn is a, oh, okay, maybe they're a bamboo company. Hmm. This is called Kobasi DK. It's called Kobasi because it's cotton, bamboo, and silk. That's cute. Um, yeah, and it has a really cool consistency. Oh, super, nice. super easy on the hands. I've knit this before um, with pure cotton, um, pure sport weight cotton, and it it did like yeah. it did kind of like I felt it in my knuckles. Um, this has been like there's a little bit of elastic, like it, it has give. So I don't know, just like kind of cool, um, cool uh, alternative to that. Um, and like this was nine dollars. Um, and I got four of them, so yeah, pretty straightforward. But that is my final whip, which is almost an FO. But I, I wanted to show it now because she'll it'll be with her, and I'll try to have her take some pictures in it. But um, you probably won't see it again. So goodbye forever. Bye. Um, I think that's cute, and I think it's like a palette cleanser, maybe? Question mark. Yeah, I love knitting. Honestly, I like knitting that. It's like so and it's so fun to do the different like yeah. the cups and the straps. Like you just do boom 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 boom. Um, there's cool, she's really intentional, something I like about <coughs> it, about doing, oh like, God. the selvage edge. Um, so, anyway, I don't know. It just really is, and there's, like, an intentional, like, it's, like, a raw hem, which I like. Um, yeah, I've made it three times, never for myself, so maybe, maybe this summer will be the year. Um, I'm gonna pause and change, yeah. because I'm, like, <sighs> I was warm. <laughs> okay, I have two more whips. Um, the first one, I'll just... Actually, neither one will be brief. Okay. Um, so the first one is like, I started a year ago at least, and it's the Yoko Top, and mm. I'm knitting it in... Um, You're also knitting Coast, right? Yeah, Holtzgarn Coast, which is, I think, like a fabulous cotton. Yeah, it is quite uh, nice. Wool, and it's in, uh, it's double-stranded on like, whatever teeny tiny... Twos, right? Ties two. Wait, um, this looks incredible. So yeah, but <laughs> the story of this is that... Um, I started it when I was like smaller and the pattern and, and, and lost my place and got like overwhelmed yeah. and put it down for a super long time, figured it out where I was, but realized I was doing the second to last size, which I now am like a little bit bigger than the last size. But when I hold it up to myself, I feel like it's fine. So I'm trying to decide and I am using, it's like lace weight double, but it is like slightly more than fingering. So I'm trying to decide what I think. So you want my take on it? I made this top. I love yeah. this top. So this is how it's going to sit. And I think it's like more than big enough. So I regret not going down a size. That's what I'm thinking. Be I think also, so the way that it is, it's a wrap. So even right. if it's a little bigger, you just And I'm done with like booby. I, 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 I mine has a little bit too much coverage and is a little yeah. bit too big. So I think you're going to be, I wish I'd gone down a size. Okay, I'm, I'm This looks... Awesome. It looks amazing, right? This is, this yarn, I think about, this is going to be, sorry, I'm freaking out, but this is just like <laughs> such a nice fabric. Like, yeah, it's like basic, it's like, and I think this is such a cool knit top because it's so creative. It's not just stock and yeah. that. Ugh, I, you're inspiring me. I love it. You wanted to make it, well, so I, we cast yeah. them on at the same time, I think. And so yeah, I don't actually. know if it's clear that I'm holding it like this, but like, it'll become a thing and then go around the back and then there will be another one and then it'll. Yeah. Ugh, I want to wear mine. I haven't worn it in a while. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I love yours. Yeah, I know I it wasn't mine. exactly what you imagined, but I thought it was beautiful. No, I love that. I mean, I really love that top, honestly. There's nothing... I, I used to wear it all the time. I think I just, like, didn't have the right pants for I mean, it for a like minute. so but... stretchy. Yeah, okay, great. I think you'll be totally fine. There. I can... I'll, maybe I'll try mine on after. And, like, like so we can... even if it's down here, the boob is, like... I'm fine with that amount of boob. Yeah. Victoria was like, I don't know. So I needed another opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I um, think it'll be fine. Hooray. Okay, so thrilled. <laughs> awesome. Um, maybe this... Wow, I didn't know you've been putting... You've been putting a lot of rows on that. It looks awesome. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I Well, so that's like... I was sort of going from thing to thing and like r just like checking in on my languishing lips and stuff. So my final one, I'll share and then you'll share your acquisition. Sure. Sounds okay. good. And like we'll talk about plans. Mm -hmm. I was in Portugal this mm -hmm. summer um, 
and I was at Retrosaria Rosa Pomar, obviously, and I got uh, a minimal amount of uh, unspun yarn that I don't know what it's called, but it's not any of the ones that you, we've heard about. Okay. And <laughs> in this gray and um, Surrey Alpaca in this white. I've never done that with unspun. M me oh my God, it's now. But it's not even connected. <laughs> no, it just broke off, but it's it, It's breaking off constantly and we still love so it. So then I was like, this Wait, is Wait, sorry, what is this? Surrey Alpaca. From whom? From, From Los Angeles. I'm just never using a mohair again when there's Surrey on the market. Like it's I'm wow. insane. So, so then I was like, fuck it. This is too good. I'm going to order mm. more of it. And I like paid insane shipping and it was stupid. From Retrosario Pomar. Yeah. yeah. And I got, so now I have like a lot of skeins of it, like 10. Because it was allegedly like 220 or 250 or something like meters mm. per thing. Yeah. Which I was like, that's whatever. Yeah. Or maybe I have like eight, like whatever. And initially I had two. Oh, okay, but I, see. I have not yet completed one. Oh my god! <laughs> and this. Oh, is... you're gonna have. Wait, you haven't completed one. T no. One, um, no. I guess it's also at a large gauge. It's a huge gauge. Oh wait, sorry. And yeah. also, the first ones that I or that I ordered were single stranded. Is this a turtle duck? No. Oh, okay. And this it, this one was randomly like double stranded, so I don't oh. know if it was double. Okay. But it was the same size. I don't know. I don't understand. Is anything. this all you have left? Yeah. So it is good. You're almost Yeah. Good. But I'm like, this is... So it's a cardigan. It looks awesome. It's it's amazing. It's the pearl... It's not... That's a lie. It's the petite knit novice cardigan, mm. um, which is on like gigantic. It's like on size 11 needles. <laughs> but... <coughs> excuse me. I'm like wheezing a little bit, but it's okay. Everybody feel sorry for me, but don't think that I'm like infecting anybody, you know? It's a good balance. I <laughs> personally think the back is like stunning. Um, awesome. I love how this kind of like because you have that uh, surrey in it. It's a moral but subtle. It's a moral but it's also not like like it um it's not super uh thick and thin but it has a little bit of that quality. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. And I think like it won't be see-through at all, but it won't be it'll be real warm, but it's yeah. not going to be like oppressive warm like those super bulky. Wow. That we know of, you yeah, know, that we know and love. Yeah, it's so light. Like, it's you were really so light. smart to use this yarn for such big needles because yeah. it's so And light. I think it'll bloom. I mean, it's already bloomed, but I think it'll really just, like, So does it space. call for, like, a DK <clears> and, a, <throat> and a... I think it's, like, a worsted or... I have... I don't remember what it is, but I found it through Knit LA's um I YouTube. love Knit LA. No, like, I, She's I love so her. Cute. I almost went to her Zoom, but then it was on, Me like, a too. Wednesday. <laughs> I really love her and she's, she loves us and she loves us which she's I like so, could cry because oh my god we love you yeah everything she does makes me like <gasps> and so I've been sick and I've watched like every episode she's ever done her colors are amazing oh my god and the way that the joy that she talks about the craft and just like the elegance oh. and the soulfulness and I'm like I love knitting and she loves knitting and everything is beautiful there is I feel I love I feel so lucky for like knitting youtube knitting it's amazing yeah so this she was wearing this and i just was like <laughs> what did she do i need to watch that soft song. pink and she had this like crazy collar over it oh my gosh she, her style is awesome her <laughs> style is like goals yeah yeah and i'd been sitting there like dying and i was like this i don't know what to do with this yarn because and i had tried like i've like cast on multiple things i've like tried different so i was like it's super thick i don't want to be too warm whatever um, and I was like, it's that. And I cast it on and this has literally been like two weeks. And you've just been like, go, go, go. I yeah. love it. And I've been like almost like too sick to knit at, at points, but yeah. like I've done like, there, there have been like, I'll do like two rows and then like rest for an hour yeah. and like two rows. And it's just like every stitch is a pleasure. I don't even mind the pearl rows that much. Like. That's awesome. I have these buttons that are incredible that I got at, um, Will and Folk two years ago, but like. I might just use like simple wood ones or like tortoise shell or whatever mm. the fuck it's called. Um, nice. But I really like it. And I think it's going to be like so, I think I'm going to wear the shit out of it. Amazing. Um, it's and so wearable. It's, then I'm going to have like maybe two sweater quantities left of this freaking yarn. <laughs> um, so I did join the new in fucking Patreon. Oh my God, you did it. You're so bad. Oh my God. And we've sat here and we have talked shit about new in girls. new in bitches are crazy, we've said. Wait, we've we said, have not why? said that. We have literally... <laughs> 
power to the Newton and girls. No, no, no. We haven't said that. But we've been like, why is everybody like paying to be a part of it? Like we just have been like, I don't get it. And now I'm a Newton Newton and bitch. And I'm Claiming. devastated to hear that there will not be a drop for two months. Um, because I will be purchasing from that drop. It's not even that expensive. I I mean, it's like $75 for like a fat person sweater quantity. So like, that's not bad. Yeah. I'm literally take all my money. Yeah, that's, I didn't realize it was that. That's, that's it. And I'm going to be here making these like floofy shits. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's like and the stitch down. I mean, are you kidding? Do you understand? I well. <laughs> Do you understand? Um, oh. and that's it. That's all she wrote. Thank that's you for amazing. coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Um, wait, I, you've kind of converted me. It's just so light. I love that. I think this is, sorry, not to bring it back to like <laughs> the sweater that shall not be named, but, um, I think I wanted this to have the like quality of that essentially, like of being like so yeah. light, but like hold up while you knit it. Not that I would ever recommend knitting lace with that. I don't think either mm -hmm. it would work, but yeah, it's, I'm very, I find myself very attracted to that. I'll have extra if you want some. And I love how like basic this is, but kind of drama just in- It's in, so drama. It's so drama and just like kind so of the soft. fit almost and yeah. It's gonna be delectable. Of it. Okay, like, so back to Knit LA for one second. You know how she <laughs> like does the bow pattern? Like yeah, that's hers. She's so cute. I'm kind of like, maybe that's my thing for Rhinebeck where I wear a sweater I've had. Like this oh. sweater, I always, I think this sweater needs something. I'll take that. <laughs> you're like don't steal my surrey <laughs> you're sorry um i think this sweater needs something i think it's i do love how it's like the sleeves are drama but then the body's a little basic but i'm like what if it had like a little collar no like iconic that's what she did she had this like simple thing with like the most beautiful drama like collar that yeah. she like had knit for her sister and she was like i want to keep it but she's being really mature about it and giving it away anyway but um <laughs> i was like could not be me but um you're just cracking me up today. <laughs> I think I'm like wheezing a little and yeah. I'm just like, I've had a really hard week and I'm like, at first I was kind of like, and now I'm like, I got to cram element. the energy in the last couple you're minutes. You're in your element. You're in your element. Okay. I'm, oh, I have, well, I can talk about my acquisitions. Yeah. And your plans because this is where you're going to shine because totally when I got here, Hannah was like, I'm sad about knitting. And yeah. now this is, there's no way while holding what she's holding to be sad about knitting. So also I have to cast some, I mean, I have to, I actually <coughs> I could maybe <clears throat> just finish that sweater, which is what I probably should do. So, okay. <laughs> I'm team cast, cast on. on. I know you are team cast on. I probably just like should. But I bought this Nora. I, I'm just bringing this, bringing this to the podcast. I bought this Nora Sonata. Um, and paint a picture. You were sad. You went to Cleo's and things happened. Yeah. Okay. So wait, <laughs> crazy situation. So Cleo's <laughs> crazy. No one has ever experienced something like that where you're <laughs> sad and you go to the yarn store and something happens. Like crazy. One time I used like store-bought pesto crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Call me. I, I know I'm like... Wait, do you know that, like, do you know that SNL skit that's, like, my boyfriend's crazy? <laughs> no. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm so crazy. Guys, I'm so crazy. Okay, no, that's not what I was going to say. What I was going to say, <laughs> what I was going to say is that my, okay, so my, um, Cleo's is kind of, like, in East Williamsburg, Bushwick border. It's, it's like, a little. the least convenient location I've ever. It's on the out. It's convenient for me. But it's, like, a little dead man's land, like, all the love to Cleo, but it's, like, a pretty industrial randomly you know what's there is my a golf bar bizarre it's actually pretty cool they have breakfast burritos <laughs> but like there's a golf bar so sunday morning yeah or it's like it's like a golf simulator what's a golf bar it's like it's actually pretty cool it's like the front is like a bar and then in the back there's like golf simulators and you can like play golf like i don't like know bro -y? yeah but it's also like east williamsburg like bushwick so it's kind of like and like i went there anyway my boyfriend was like i needed to go to cleo's <laughs> Next door is literally this like golf simulator bar that <laughs> my boyfriend and his friends were going to. So, so I'm like, great, I'll drop you off. I'll go to Cleo's. Perfect. Then Cleo's was like not opening till noon. So I had to go back to the golf bar and I just like sat and knit. And then, um, and then I was like, like I just sat in it and they played golf in the back. And then the bartenders were like so nice. And we talked about like knitting and like Casey Musgraves for like an hour and a half. So anyway, that's so cute. couldn't recommend Brooklyn Greens more. <laughs> that's all to say, then I did end up going to Cleo's. Brooklyn and I, Greens is a cute name. It's also, yeah, it's cute. It's cute. Um, 
then I ended up going to Cleo's and getting Sonata, um, which I felt really excited about because it's beautiful. This pattern has been haunting me. Like I just oh. kind of am like, I need. And Nora's really having a moment. All the girlies have their fucking sake Medora. Yeah. I've never knit with them before. Um, it's good. So one of, one of the small pleasures in life is like going out and wearing a knit or like going yeah. and like feeling sexy in a knit. And you're like, oh, all the stitches are my hugs. Yeah. And just like feeling yourself and like wearing something you made. So LaPaul is a nude me designer. She's like pretty, like pretty Scandinavian trendy. Um, but all her, all her stuff is like uber size inclusive. This goes up to a seven XL. Wow. Um, yeah. So really Wait, good. I haven't heard of this person. Yeah. I'll show you their stuff afterwards, but let me show this stuff. So the <laughs> reason this was, see. the reason this was haunting me was because huh. she posted it, um, like super sexy. It's called the party top. There's um, like ties in the back too. Yeah. I'll show you the back. Whoa. She posted it like on like so sexy. She posted it on, on like two days before, um, uh, New Year's Eve and was like, if I was going out on New Year's, this is what I'd be wearing. And I was like, yeah, like I want to be wearing that. <laughs> Wait, cause this is like, sh like sparkly. Like it's a little bit, it has like silk like or whatever. Shiny. What um, is it? It's like cotton viscose silk polyamide. And Nora so has got some wild combos that I, but I always, I'm like, wow. Yeah, it's weird that this is like also not wool because it kind of feels like wool. Um, and so I was like, I want something like a little, like I want to be wearing the sexy top that like feels a little like, like this yarn feels a little like <coughs> granola organic, which I feel like is kind of fun for, for going mm -hmm. out, like very like casual. Sparkle granola though. Yeah, exactly. So this was just speaking to me, this yarn. I had never used it before. And I just was like, this would be yeah. really, maybe this is my palette cleanser, just knitting that top and like wearing it and just oh, I think feeling that's fab. so nice. Yeah. Um, so that I'm really excited about. Yeah. I've been really lusting after Nora and I'm like, do I just want it? Especially Sakya. I'm like, I found a, cause it's sold out everywhere. Yeah. And I found um, a provider that has it and I was like where like little far little. away and I was like <laughs> yeah, and I had to have a talk with myself and I was like and that talk was like you are you owe a lot of money to the government for your school yeah you are in graduate school we're not at that time in our life yet yeah you're not at the time in your life yet and additionally do I even like this and want it and need it or am I just wanting to be like all the other sake girlies yeah mm. and I don't know the answer so I I, I like wait. I'm so intrigued like Nothing feels more comforting than like kind of curling up with like your massive just like ball of like Nora. Like when you knit that sweater and like your Nora ball I balls were like loved this big. Like I was just like I just want yeah yeah and like so I knit a sweater with it and it shrunk and I gave it to my mom who's smaller and but it was like so nice to freaking knit with. So I am really excited for you and I we'll see yeah because like I've been knitting with bougie yarn and I. And I think it's fun and I don't want to stop. Yeah. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, um, wait, I was going to show one more skein, but I, oh, where'd it go? It was right I there. I just had it. Didn't I have the gray one? Day? Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe it no, just had it. Oh. Okay. So the last thing I wanted to say for, do you want to talk about a plan also? Do you have a plan or no? Plan is finished. We'll talk about it after. Okay. Um, you showed this, didn't you? Yeah, I oh, but you have plan. But I'm gonna knit the bright sweater, which I think I talked about last time. But Ooh, gray is so pretty. Can we talk about how? Yeah, the right like, gray. Mm. Gray is yeah, delicious. You talk about your plans, and then I'll talk about kind of my dilemma, and, and would love to ask the the room for some advice. But I don't know what the fuck my plan is. I'm okay. gonna finish stuff. I'm gonna finish stuff. Okay. I'm gonna finish stuff. I'm gonna finish stuff. Okay, so like, are you gonna finish I'm stuff? gonna finish okay, stuff. Cool. <laughs> Just checking it. I am I gonna cast things on? Maybe. Um, okay, my <laughs> dilemma is that <laughs> I am going on a month and a week long hiking trip. You're not bringing the bright sweater to that. No, I'm not bringing the bright sweater. <laughs> but guys, the way that like I thought like more like. I've watched a few packing videos, but I'm like, I don't care. Like, I'll be able to pack for that. <laughs> you should get one of those, like, knitting, like, thingies that the yarn is on your yeah, wrist. Yeah, I turns. think I love, I, and I've been intentionally not knitting them. I love knitting socks. Like, oh, my God, I could knit 
luxurious socks. I mean, I'm wearing what I call like <laughs> my crazy like acid punk socks today, but um, so I think it's gonna be like my sock knitting situation. But if you're like a backpacker who knits, let me know what you do. Do you carry, do you just knit socks? I'm imagining like, cause I'm also worried, like I actually knit socks on bamboo size one needles, double pointed, mm -hmm. which it feels like they're gonna break the first day. They haven't, knock on wood, they have not broken yet, but I just feel like scared to go to like, I'm going to Spain to hike the Camino. Um, I feel scared to like go in a place that might not have like a yard store. Um, you can find deep sock DPNs in Spain. I'm and sure I can, Bumble but I don't want to like, I don't want to like yeah. not, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure you're right. So anyway, what would you recommend? It could be fun. Like I would love to do like a sweater, but you have to remember you're carrying like 40 liters max. So yeah. Um, anyway, I'm really excited, but like I've been stressing so hard about what I'm going to be knitting. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing. Um, Wait, I mean, you're going to be so cute with your little booby boop. And like, I like just like sitting down at the hostel at night and like knitting and yeah. Yeah. And you can walk and I mean, my friends who've done it, it's like yeah, so many miles a day that you're just like slowly. Yeah. You're like, like just tired and yeah. Um, and it's like super individualized and it feels really relaxed. Um, if you've done it also, let me know. I'm like insanely excited so cool. um for folks that don't know i'm going to grad school in the fall so i'm taking the summer off um again thoughts and prayers for hannah <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> going kidding. to law school Just so kidding. like i go to law school so like maybe we could like podcast a lot in the summer and then like <laughs> i don't know like disperse uh, episodes yeah um, that'd be funny because like, I feel like I'm, I'm going to have two months off and I feel like I'm just going to knit like crazy. Um, maybe I'll just like save stuff because I'll know that like I won't be knitting in grad school. And I'll Wait, just, like... is that what you think? No, I, I'm sure I will be knitting. I knit so much in grad school. Yeah, no, it's true. I'm sure I will be knitting and like I'll have like so much work that it's not like, I mean today, like you, you know, you know the style of our podcast. We're not trying to be like. Yeah. super performative or like um you know really uh choreographed or anything but it's still nice <laughs> we to are have... not <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> but it's still nice to have like nfo or yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. really like the mental energy to like be able to like you know i'm not going to be watching probably as many podcasts realistically as i am now um heartbreak but like i said today which I, I i did have a fair amount of stuff to say like i'm just happy to be here and like hype you up and just and just I chat think you about. had a lot to show. Yeah, about. yeah, it's fine. Um, anyway. Hannah will be knitting in grad school. <laughs> no, I undoubtedly like will be knitting, but just um, not probably to the extent that I am now. Yeah. Is that it? Do we have anything more to say? I have been listening to too much Krista Tippett on being from NPR. Okay. And it's a podcast about like spirituality and like Ooh. being human on being. It's on being. And so I would like to offer a blessing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love that. Yes, I hope everyone's above water, and if not, yeah. that it feels like holy struggle, if that makes sense. Mm. Or a struggle that you can build off of, you know. Or sexy melancholy. Yeah. Whatever, whatever branding. You know, it's, oh, you know, it's, it's the change of season also, which feels funny, I'll say. Um, and yeah. spring is amazing, like, it feels so, so great, but then there's also this, like, real rush, right, of, of yeah. closing everything out before the summer, so. And I hope that everybody's, like, being nice to their, to your bodies. Yeah, Ooh. that too. Um, I was doing, okay, a quick aside. I was doing um, a yoga with Adrian today, who love, I love. Yeah. And I'll just, you know, I'll do it like if, I'll do like one of her 10 minute practice. But at the end, she was just like, and say thank you to the body that you love. And it was just kind of like, mm -hmm. she like begged the question or it was just like kind of this leading statement of like, oh, of course the body I love. And I don't know. Yeah. It was just like, act as if you love, like yeah. love your body. Okay. I hope everyone's being lovely to their bodies. I've been sick for so long and it's frustrating and exhausting. Um, and I feel like everyone I know, like in every country, <laughs> has just been like sick. Um, and also like, it's like a funny time. So whatever. I hope that wherever you're, you're you are in your kind of like journey, that it feels, that feels okay. And that at least for the time that you're here, like, you and whoever else is watching is like knitting and being cozy and that's some form of connection. I don't know. Yeah, beautiful. I love that. And I love um 
that we're able to kind of connect over this craft together, right? And that so many, you know, it's such a funny corner of YouTube and it's not one that has like a lot of action or anything, but it's so, I always find it funny that like, you know, so many people are watching and, ha and having this like a really positive um, experience, like watching the same YouTubers or something. And I'm just, yeah, feeling grateful for that and that we have a shared love and just to do something that's not necessarily like work or challenging for us, but just um, pleasure, so. Yeah, and it sounds silly to be like the community that's watching a video or whatever, which is like a yoga with Adrian thing to say, but I do, <laughs> I do feel that like, and maybe it's goofy, but I do feel that like the joy of making stuff when I'm watching somebody else's joy of making stuff and I'm just, ooh, it's like, I get sort of frenzied, so. Yeah. I hope that whatever, I hope everybody's good. Love you. Love you too. Okay, thanks for <laughs> watching. Bye guys. Bye.